na paano niya explain at saka i-emphasize yung benefits ng, for me, ah, his biggest achievement in first year, which is yung amelioration ng debt ng mga magsasaka. I think for me, that's the greatest achievement. I'm happy that finally someone is paying attention to the agricultural issue. In fairness to President Marco Jr., during multiple visits abroad, he met the uh, Prime Minister and leaders of Vietnam from where we get, what, 85-90% of our rice. Right. So in fairness naman sa kanya, for all the criticism of him as why are you there in the Department of Agriculture, alam ang bag mo dyan. Actually, a lot of people on the ground want him to stay there because the bully pulpit of the president is necessary to deal with the food uh, and agricultural crisis we have in this country. And s more than 600,000 Filipinos, farmers, are going to benefit from this. This is a big, big thing. We're talking about more than a billion dollar in amelioration. But that's just the first step. You need the financial infrastructure. You need all sorts of support mechanisms over the next three, four, five, ten but years. But let me just uh, let me just interrupt you there. Yeah. The uh, condonation or emancipation yeah. law—that was something that the president mentioned in his first state first, of the exactly. address, right? And then recently signed, maybe about two weeks ago. Yeah. We're going to—I don't know if the right—that's um, worth about 58 billion pesos. This um, is around billion dollar. Exactly. That yeah. could have gone to government coffers, but Secretary uh, Diokno was saying, hindi naman talaga sinama yan doon sa budget. So, in other words, this law, possible loss of 58 billion was somehow, would you say, downplayed by the Secretary of Finance. Okay, emancipation. Yeah, th However, that's a big thing. Yeah, yeah. the President also, last year, spoke about farm-to-market roads. You were talking about, yeah, we need structure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, uh, Which brings proceed. me to the Maharlika Investment Fund. Okay. In fact, yeah. on the fiscal front, there are two big issues, right? The Maharlika Investment Fund is going to be potentially three, four billion dollars seed money for now. Potentially affected some of the banks of the government who will be crucial to helping the agricultural sector. And then the pension reform, <laughs> even more problematic. Because for me, the Maharlika Investment Fund is politically sensitive. It will be scrutinized by both supposed allies and critics and the investment community. The reception has been very negative among top economists in the country from the university I come from, UP. Uh, let's, in fact, if you look at the Philippines ranking in economic competitiveness, one area we did very bad is public finance. So talagang titignan niya, not to mention the Marcos, of course, reputation, unfortunately, on this front, whatever they want to say about Bagong Pilipinas. But the pension fund reform is even more politically sensitive because it's going to affect the armed force of the Philippines. We had a very sensitive uh, military reshuffle mm. earlier this year, head of the AFP, the defense secretary changed. Um, and we have a long history of coup d'etats in this country. So it's very important how Gibo, how Finance Secretary Jokne, if he's going to stay around. Hindi naman changed ang Defense Secretary. OIC lang naman, di ba? Well, but the timing, right? Back nag-resign, di ba? And, uh, so my point is, there was a little bit of murmurings of pot potential coup. There were okay. concerns about discontent. Because, di ba, sa military, you take out one person, the whole promotion structure changes, eh. Yeah. Hindi yan basta-basta. And the gong really raised their pensions and benefits and all. Right. So he created a culture of expectation. Some would say entitlement, but I'm all for the AFP getting mm -hmm. what they deserve. Mm -hmm. So pension reform is going to be very sensitive. Yeah. I want him to explain that. And going back to what Robin said, ETCA, the thing with ETCA is this. It's still not final. We don't know how many American troops will enter there. We don't know how big these bases will be. Some of them are literally sites, meaning my mga, I don't know, there's a banka there and then there's a fish there. Go to the Cagayan one. It's not a so big base. So how big will be the bases yeah. there? Will the Americans be you able need to, to understand the terms of reference. Yeah, yeah. No? Patriot yeah. missile systems there. What? Sabi nga, hindi kong nuclear weapons tau ligat, which obviously is illegal and they're not gonna do that. So, for me, the devil is in the details. Yeah. There are no details. And and Senator Aimee is really looking into this during one of the hearings. Talagang uh, hiningi niya yung mga detalye dito. Hindi pa na negotiated. Even exactly. Pentagon has admitted earlier this year, ahead of the visit to yeah. May, that they're still negotiating that. So, for me, Marcos... Dito natin malaman if he's still going to continue kicking the can down the road and dribble lang niyan, or is he going to be really going all in and okay. defining the parameters of EDCA? So, in short, the first year, medyo chill, medyo detox. Mm -mm. Kumbaga, to use the Chinese Deng Shopping, feeling the river, crossing the river and feeling the stones. Yun ang ginawa niya, di ba? But in the second year, he will have to go and make some big, important decisions. All right. Because how he goes on EDCA will affect response from the Dutertes or Arroyos, who want stronger ties with China, skeptical of U.S. Mm -hmm. How he goes on the pension reform affects relations with the military, civil-military relations. Mm -hmm. How the uh, Maharlika Investment Fund goes gives ammunition to the critics, both inside and from the outside, and how he deals with the 
you know, the issue of agricultural development, for me, that's a legacy issue because his father was the last Philippine president who really invested in agricultural development for all of his faults and problems during the Marcos dictatorship. Agriculture is one thing the father really focused on. So I think this is something very close to his heart. As and he, I wish the best for the president. And, and he said he will remain agriculture chief. For hanggang, the foreseeable future, yeah. Uh, Makontrol ang presyo mm -hmm. at ang, ang supply at presyo ng mga pagkain. Richard's going to have